Tower here, Tower here, Tower. Back of the meet now, all four and shells come to back, though, in Aston, let's just all four, catch you back, but... Hey everyone, Astronaut98 here. Yes, it's me back again from a one week break. I decided to do a video every two weeks because I can't handle the stress of doing a weekly upload. I decided to do a video that is partially tutorial and partially a vehicle showcase. Today I'm launching a Saturn shuttle. That's right, the space shuttle concept that never actually flew, but would have been a lot safer than the shuttle that actually flew. Here we are, you've just seen the liftoff, and we did our beautiful burn. Separation of the F stage be dropped off there. Looks beautiful. Now, the S1C stage would have actually had a modification where you get shown after you hit the like and subscribe button, but it would have had modification of parachutes and little housings that would blow away from the upper part of the fuel tank, allowing it to splash down safely in the ocean. I did not add enough parachutes, so just the engine survived. Good news, expensive parts survived. And And orbiters got main engine shut down. Perfect. And now, next up should be fuel tank separation. Perfect, right there. Now, as you're noticing, this fuel tank is a lot smaller. With the Saturn shuttle concept, all the pictures I've seen, the fuel tank is actually smaller. So I figured I'd replicate that using the uh, space shuttle cargo bay diameter part so it's actually orange clever KSP developers, I'll tell you. But what I'm doing with this mission is I am launching a replacement communication satellite into what I call the pseudo L4 position. Because Kerbal doesn't have very good physics, the L4 and L5 positions almost exist, and the L1, L2, and L3 positions just don't exist at all. So Lagrange points only partially exist in Kerbal. So what I do is I launch missions like this, where I speed past the camera in a rather dramatic shot, and then I aim just behind the moon, right there, and I set my communication satellite to be in that area, or ahead of it in the L4 or L5. Those orbits are from left to right. L4 is before the moon, L5 is after the moon. But basically you're rendezvousing with the moon, but behind it, so you have to match the orbit of the moon precisely. Or, in my case, because I was replacing a previous satellite, I just rendezvoused with my previous satellite. As you can see here, as we come up right behind it. Three, two, one. Activating the ions for that retro burn. And perfect. Now, I got as close as I physically could, then I just disposed of this one by crashing it into the mud. Believe it or not, that thing would have actually had enough fuel on it to actually crash into Kerbin. I was expecting to have to do a lot more uh, orbital tweaking. But I didn't, so I just crashed into the mud because it required the least amount of delta V. As you can see, three, two, one, and it experienced a communications error and just boom. The orbiter, as you can tell, is 100% reusable. So what I did is I just grazed through the atmosphere and decided to go for a random landing location. I aimed for the desert because that's known to be relatively flat and flared right before touchdown. Perfect and gentle touchdown. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. I release a new video every other week, and new shirts will be added in the description of my video soon. Congratulations to the person who has won the Book of Boba Fett contest. I'm the astronaut. Let's fly.